In our worldview today, Secretary of State Antony Blinken vowed to rally international support to aid Gaza in his first visit to the Middle East since Israel and Hamas agreed to a ceasefire. Blinken met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in his first stop on the trip, saying the two discussed Israel's security needs and a potential U.S. return to the Iran nuclear deal. Blinken also called for international support to rebuild Gaza, adding that the U.S. would make significant contributions and ensure that Hamas does not benefit from reconstruction assistance. The ceasefire reached last week appears to be holding so far, although there are tensions on the ground. Blinken heads to Ramallah to meet with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas today. That'll be followed by a visit to Egypt and Jordan, who've stepped in as mediators in the fighting. The European Union has called for all airlines and member countries to halt flights over Belarus after the country's leader forced the grounding of a Ryanair flight to reportedly arrest an opposition journalist. Meanwhile, Belarus's national carrier has canceled all flights to London and Paris through October after its air permits were suspended. All of this comes as video of detained journalist Roman Prasevich emerged, admitting to organizing mass protests against President Alexander Lukashenko's regime. Family and friends say the video clearly shows he had been tortured and forced to read a statement under pressure. And the State Department is advising U.S. citizens from traveling to Japan as the country struggles to control COVID-19 infections. The level four advisory is the highest cautionary level, and it comes just two months before the Tokyo Olympic Games are set to start. Japan's largely been closed to foreign tourists during the pandemic, but it has granted exceptions to some U.S. citizens. The country struggled to accelerate its vaccine rollout with roughly 4% of the population inoculated so far. 